channel. Today I'm going to be doing another uni haul because my last one did a video well. Thank you for watching that video. So today I'm going to do a big kind of, it's a big mess of everything. I was supposed to do a bigger kind of shop in a one or a few weeks ago, but reasons. So yes, we're going to start with a classic uni thing. A duvet. Here we have a silent night ultra bound duvet. It's a single because I've got a single bed. This is a 10.5 top. I've seen some things saying that uni halls are really warm and they're also really cold, so I have no idea what I could get. So I thought a good like in the middle would be good, you know. And now I'm going to be doing a kitchen section. First, we have some good old Tupperware. We have a Sistema soup mug, and this is called Snack Attack Duo. These things are good. You may not think you need these, but this, the soup mug, you know, it does everything. There's a microwavable Tupperware thing. You can make soup in this, you could make instant noodles in this, you can put beans in here, something from a can you really need to heat up, or anything you take up to be honest. I got green because I like green, good colour. And then I have this one. I thought maybe because I'm vegetarian and also a very picky eater, bringing food on campus with me would be a good idea. So I've got this one, it's just got the main bit here and two smaller sections. This is just gonna grow. Next I have this Dishomatic sponge thing. I've heard a lot about this um, on a bunch of other haul videos. Basically, you put in fairy liquid in here and then it keeps it in the handle and it comes at the top. I got some Poundland as well, so that was very good. And then I have another lunchbox thing, this. I actually got this like, how long ago? I actually got this like three years ago for Christmas. It's just a lunchbox, but it's it's got collapsible silicone sections so my mum did buy this in like 2017 so they don't think they sell it anymore but i think it'd be good continuing with the food storage theme i have some reusable snack and sandwich bags i'm trying to use less plastic and stuff you know that the planet is dying so i thought i'd try and you know stop that so these are just sandwich bags and like this is a cardboard packaging so it's good for the environment that they're just, they're reusable. I think they are from TK Maxx. Also, I've learned, I learned this when I went to America a few years ago, they call it TJ Maxx over there. Why? Why do you have to change the K for a J? It makes no sense. I have some cutlery. Here I have a 16 piece Theo duck egg cutlery set from Tesco's. They're just like this, you know, cutlery and it's got this pattern on it. I thought it was a nice color. It's cutlery. I don't really know what else to say about it. And I think last in my kitchen section is a baking tray. This is actually not all the kitchen stuff I'll be getting. This is just kind of the first chunk. You know, I can put things on, I don't know, chips, whatever cheap corn things I can find. I don't know what else you put in here. Maybe I'll make cookies. I won't be baking when I go to uni. And next I have something else I got for Christmas, I think, um, which are these notebooks. These are vegan leather notebooks. This one's got a tiger on it and this one's got a dolphin on it. I'm not 100% sure what I'll use them for because I want to try and make a lot of my notes digital, but maybe just for practicing things, quickly writing things down. And next we have something that is very uh, reflective of our time. Our unprecedented time. I hate that word. I have hand sanitizer. This is just a Carex moisturized hand gel. It's like a normal hand gel. It's also 77 alcohol, which I think is the amount you need to kill the coronavirus. In here, I have a Nivea hand cleansing sanitizer spray. I love going to university in the middle of a global pandemic. And next up is something that I'm kind of glad my mum got for me because I was panicking about this, which is a four pack of bamboo toothbrushes. I use a bamboo toothbrush. I had the Humble brush, I think, and I'm currently using a Colgate one. I'm trying to use bamboo toothbrushes, always get plastic toothbrushes. Plastic. Single use plastic. So having a good pack of four to take to uni with me would definitely be good. I'll use probably two of them over the year because you're supposed to replace it at six months, I think. Because this four pack was six pound, which is quite a lot for toothbrushes, but you know, they're biodegradable, eco-friendly, vegan and cruelty free. And they've got fun colors. Isn't that exciting? Also not tested on animals. How do you test a toothbrush on an animal? Next up, I have this laundry bag from Primark that I got for five pound. It's just a laundry bag that has um, two drawstrings on it, but like a PE bag from like primary school and it just says wash me on it very demanding but i will wash what's ever in here the only problem is i don't know how to use a washing machine so i'm 17 i can't even wash my own clothes next we have a bag that has a bunch of random stuff in it once when i went to tend my friend and uh, before Aberdeen went into lockdown first thing we have here are some flash wipes classic you wipe things with them they're made in the eu we love the eu we, we, we voted to stay we voted to stay i don't know what else to say about these flash wipes 
Another thing my mum panic bought for me is some tissues. By appointment to Her Majesty the Queen manufacturers of disposable tissues. The Queen likes them, so I've gotta like them too. I'm even a royalist. I keep them in my room in case I need to blow my wee nose because I get hay fever and I'm suffering right now. Can okay, maybe that wasn't the end of the kitchen stuff because here's a sieve. I've been told just to get a sieve and not a sieve and a colander because you can just put your pasta through this. You know, there's no point of getting a colander. We just have a classic Tesco sieve. You ever thought about how weird the way we spell sieve is? S-I-E-V. I'm thinking about it too much. Here's some more. Ow. And here's the stuff I bought without the guidance of parents. This is why it's a bit mad. Like here we have a lint roller. <laughs> this is just like a one pound lint roller from Primark. I like lemons. I like the lemons you can see my lemon shorts back there. I love a good- I have two pairs of lemon shorts. I like my lemon shorts. The reason I like this is because it has like a holder thing here. If you can put it in, it doesn't have to just like fly somewhere. It's got somewhere to stay. It's got a home. So that's why I got it. I and mean, that's really the only reason. I also have these A4 plastic subject dividers and they're pastel. Oh my god. I didn't know they had these in pastel. I have the normal ones. If we see up here, this is my French, my advanced French um, ring binder and the Spanish ones on top, which you can't see. And I used the bright plastic ones because the paper ones, as good as they are from the environment, you know, I've been talking about plastic for a long time, they break so easily and it's very annoying. So the plastic ones are always very good. As long as you reuse them. Use that, you could, these could last you a lifetime. Something else I, I um, spontaneously bought in Debate Smith was this pencil case. Um, I thought it was cute. This was like seven pounds, which I think is a lot, but I just thought it was nice. And it's my own money, so I don't feel bad about it. I do have another pencil case, which is back. Oh, there we go, here. I bought it from Typo. I bought a matching bag and pencil case. So this isn't gonna be used as a pencil case anymore. I use it for something. I don't know what I'll need to keep in here, but I will. it will be used for something. I got my pencil case that I've been using for like three years from W. H. Smith. Um, I bought this fake plant. Uh, I want to buy more fake plants, but I only currently have one. This was £2.50 from Primark. I thought it was cute, small, dinky. I don't know where it'll go, but it was somewhere. I also bought a hand gel from um, the body shop. And the last thing I have, I got this from Tiger. It's like a makeup organizer. I'll either use it for makeup or I'll use it for stationery. It's got this big section here and then some little bits here. Tiger is quite a small shop, the one we have, so it was hard to see distance in there, but I did it. And I didn't want to go on and buy nothing. I saw this and thought, I mean, want one of these, so why not buy it now? So yes, that is everything in my messy uni haul. I hope you enjoyed watching. If you like this video, like this video. Remember to subscribe. I upload every Friday. Thank you for watching and I will see you next week.